What's up guys, it's Busted. Most of us are probably familiar with DNS, you know, Google's DNS 8.8.8.8 or 8.8.4.4, or maybe you use Cloudflare or whatever DNS service you use. Uh, those are all fine, but there's one that I am now ready to recommend after using it for the past few years, and that's NextDNS. NextDNS is absolutely awesome. Not only is it fast and reliable, but it allows you to block malware and trackers and ads at the DNS level. That way you don't have to worry about, you know, having an ad blocker on each one of your computers or finding some sort of ad blocker for your phones or any of that stuff. While you're at home and you're on your own network, it blocks everything that you want it to and allows the things you don't want it to. So we're gonna take a quick look at some of the stuff NextDNS has to offer and how it all works, and how it blocks ads and trackers and other things, how well it does, how I like to generally set it up. And in the next video, I'll show you guys my full settings and how I recommend setting up NextDNS so that you have the best experience. Let's hop into it. So once you set up a NextDNS account, you're greeted with the setup page, which will walk you through how to set up your routers, your windows, everything. Of course, I'm going to go through all of these things in more detail in the next video. Security, there's a whole bunch of security settings here, some of which are enabled, some of which are not. Again, we'll go through all of these things in the next video. There's already an ad block and trackers list set up for you. I'll show you guys which one is the absolute best to use. You have parental controls. This is really nice. You can add different court categories, such as, uh, you know, this stuff or gambling, dating, you know, any of these things. And then you can even set a time that you want them to um, you know, work or not so that things you know, can shut down during certain times of day for your kids or whatever. And then you got safe search, other things going on, a deny list. So if you set up ads and you know, ad blocking and tracker blocking, yet you see something getting through, you can still deny it here. Or, um, you know, you set up a trackers ad block list and uh oh, something isn't working right. You can allow it through the allow. Of course you have analytics, which is really cool. If you want them to actually keep logs for all of your stuff, which I do use, um, you can see the analytics for where everything is coming from and countries and all this great stuff. And of course, there's more information in your log section if you have logs enabled and then your overall settings where you set uh, even more stuff up at the end there. So that is the basics of Next DNS when you're running through it. It's real simple to go through. It's already basically set up for you. You just kind of log in, set up your uh, you know, your DNS there and you're good to go. And then you have all these other options. Again, we'll run through all of that in the next video, but the more important thing is, well, does it work? And if we come over here to my, uh, you know, speed, uh, speed section, and we go to somewhere like speedtest.net, all the ads are gone. You can see they're gone and I do not have any ad blocker stuff going on. It's not just hidden or anything. I don't have anything going on when it comes to ad blockers on my browsers. It's all, through next DNS. So it's not only blocking ads, but it's blocking trackers and all that other stuff as well, whatever I tell it to block. And we can also go to a nice little test site, which I will have linked down below for you. So you can test to see what's being blocked on your network already, or, you know, um, you know, if you already have like an ad blocker and right here, it'll show that I am 93% uh, blocking pretty much everything I can. There's this uh, cosmetic and ad script loading. I unfortunately next dns doesn't block that now a lot of people are going to ask what about youtube ads the answer is no the answer is no unfortunately it does not block youtube ads i have of course mixed feelings on that um being a youtuber of course when you watch an ad and it gives me a little bit of money and helps me grow all those kind of things but i get it ads are obnoxious and annoying and they don't always necessarily hit home you know most of the time the ads that i see on youtube are super annoying and have nothing to do with anything that i would do and then on occasionally they'll get it right like the other day i was surfing through some stuff on youtube a whole bunch of ads was bored like oh just skip 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 i'm sorry i don't want to skip all the ads you know i want to give creators some money but good grief these are annoying and then i heard an ad for the new futurama coming out soon and i was like futurama is that futurama i watched it so but that's like the one in a million ads that they actually finally got me. So uh, yeah, next DNS is absolutely awesome. In the next video, we'll go through how to set everything up on your router side so that everything connected to your router and your network 
has NextDNS, has that block uh, for ads and trackers, all those things, and you no longer have to worry about that stuff, having to download um, you know, different apps and stuff, your phones and your browsers, all that is be taken care of by NextDNS. All right, until the next time, take it easy.